Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Urban Gameplay Weekly Gaming News Updates. Time for Mad Pepper to bring you that heated news. Yo, 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 what's good, peeps? Well, I was supposed to drop this particular video this time last week, but hey, as they always say, better late than never. Anyway, it's time to quickly look at the free PS Plus games for May 2017. And first up, and for PlayStation 4 owners, is Absu. If you've never seen or played Absu before, then trust me, this is definitely a game you want to pay close attention to. I love the fact that you get to explore the depth of the ocean and complete lots of puzzles that appear really enticing throughout the game. Plus, there are some really new unique mechanics to be had in here and the game explores them so well to begin with it reminds me a little bit like journey on the playstation 4 on so many different levels and visually the game looks stunning with all that being said this game is only free for playstation plus members based in the united states so for us in europe we don't actually get this gem for free which is a little bit of a shame but great news for those us gamers out there Yo, for PlayStation Plus members based in Europe and have a PlayStation 4, instead of Absu, we actually get Alienation, which is a shooter and role-playing game where the objective of the game is to eliminate the alien massive with extreme firepower in a massively destructible environment where collateral damage can literally bring the house down. You can also play this game with up to three friends to add to the fun. I'm not gonna lie, I personally would have preferred Absu than this game, but at the same time, this game still seemed like a pretty cool title and especially having the ability to to play it co-op will definitely add an extra element to the overall experience so therefore i guess i will be grabbing this game this month Next up and also on the PlayStation 4 for PS Plus members is Tales from the Borderland. Borderlands was a huge success and the Tales from the Borderland manages to showcase that in a very interesting adventure game format. Yes, there are some structural changes, but the game is a lot of fun, exciting and it does bring in front some really good gameplay mechanics. It also features some new characters, which is definitely a nice thing for a title in an already established world. I personally already own this game, so I guess it will be one less download for me this month, but for those who haven't played this game yet i certainly say it's well worth the time if you enjoy any of the telltale formats of games then this telltale game isn't one you should ignore and i definitely recommend downloading this game for free Yo, available on the PlayStation Vita and also the PlayStation 4 is Laser Disco Defenders. For some gamers out there, this bullet hell game might come across a ton of fun, given the fact that it allows you to explore some great ideas in a retro themed world. Whilst I personally haven't paid this game that much attention, possibly the combination of retro sci-fi with a disco era as wacky as it sounds might be something awesome. Will I download this game? Probably will, but at the same time, I doubt that I'll really get any chance to play this game anytime soon. I I do love how colourful and bright the visuals are, but from the looks of the trailer it does seem like there's a lot going on. Yo, another game available on the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4 in the month of May 2017 for all the PlayStation Plus members is Type Rider. Keeping it real, I don't think I've ever even seen this game or heard of this game before, but from what I have seen with the recent research that I've done, it does appear to contain a nice little story. The gameplay and style of the game seems pretty interesting, but yet again, I don't know whether I have the time to test this game out as I didn't really strike me as a game that would interest me 100%, but I still will probably download this game nonetheless. For those curious as to what's going on in this game, basically you uncover the history and secrets of fonts and characters, control two dots and travel through the ages of typographic styles and techniques, from the rock painting of prehistoric times to pixel art of the 2000s, solve all the riddles by riding through each level. As I said, I'm not really sure as whether this personally interests me, but visually I must say it does look pretty decent, but hey, let's test it out because it is free at the end of the day. Available on the PlayStation 3 is Blood Knights. Although not very popular, this action RPG game is known for its unique blend of characters, interesting powers and one-of-a-kind gameplay. It's also one of the few vampire games that appeared in recent years, so if you do like vampire-themed games, this may be right up your alley. I'm going to be totally honest, I probably will give this game a miss as I'm not really playing my PlayStation 3 nowadays unless I'm playing Yakuza 5. But for those who still rinse in their PlayStation 3, by all means, do be sure to check this game out 
and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below of this particular game because it's a game that I'm not really too familiar with but it does look pretty cool from the trailer. Last and maybe least for some is Port Royal 3 Pirates and Merchants on the PlayStation 3. Port Royal 3 is a business simulation game that gives you the ability to create an economic empire. The game seems to blend the entire pirate experience quite well although you can easily become a merchant if you desire. This will be a game that I won't even waste any storage on if I'm keeping it real. It does seem interesting but at the same time I just know that I'm never really going to probably play this game. It might be cool for those who actually do enjoy these type of simulation games but I personally prefer games like Tropico instead. Anyway peeps I hope you really enjoyed this video very quick rundown of PlayStation Plus games from May 2017. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I do apologize for not creating this video last week as I did have the information with me, but at the time, time literally just got the better of me. These games are all available now, so be sure to grab the freebies and test them out. Let me know in the comments below what you make of some of the games that are available for May 2017 for PlayStation Plus members. Are you satisfied with them or do you think PlayStation could have done a little bit more? If you enjoyed the rundown, do hit the like button and also don't forget Forget to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so before and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos